deep down inside, this is what I am going to do regardless. Regardless of what your friends think. Regardless of what the people at work think. Regardless of what sometimes doctors think. And just go out there and do it and push yourself. And push yourself through all of those hurdles. Because folks, it's not the believing side of things. It's not the glory side of things. Wow, wouldn't it be nice if I was a millionaire and I had a house down in the Caribbean someplace? That's all beautiful. But the question is not that. That's easy to envision. The question is, are you ready to see and be very clear about what your true hurdles are going to be? Because that is what's going to stop you. You're never going to get stopped because you want a house on the beach. It's the hurdles that are going to get in your way. It's going to be the naysayers in your life. They say, oh, no, no, look at you, man. You're, you're in a wheelchair. You can't do that. Or, oh, no, no, you can't do that. You're not a good speaker. Or, no, no, no. Don't you need money to start a business? Don't you need the expertise in order to make something happen? And that answer is no. You don't necessarily need the expertise. You need to find the expertise. That's why we go into partnerships with people. You don't necessarily need to have those five close friends of yours be fully supportive of you. You need to understand where they're coming from. And maybe you do need to replace some of those people that are complete naysayers to you or just mitigate them a little bit. You need to have your situation at a place in time where you're able to spend the time doing this stuff. And I can tell you, you don't want to let anything get in your way. And the other thing I want to tell you this is that that guy that was stuck in that wheelchair that wanted to play football, that couldn't play football, he had nothing to lose. He had everything to gain by doing this thing, and he wanted this. And he wanted to do and prove to himself and complete that triathlon more than anything else. He was not complacent. My question to you that you should be considering here is that are you complacent? Are you just fine going through life? Are you just happy with your career? Are you just satisfied with what you're doing? Are you just paying your bills? Are you just, okay, it's Monday, he's going to look forward to a good week? Or are you really looking to spend the time, energy, and effort and risk of persons that are meaningful to you, of situations that are around for you to really achieve your goal? Take a look in the mirror and ask yourself, is this a goal that I'm willing to sacrifice for? And then be sure that you are willing to take the step and to move forward and to find the resources, money, friends, situations, partners, anything that you need to make your dream happen. And it is up to you to make it go. Don't be complacent. Don't let time just slip by. Do what you need to do and make sure that your goal means more to you than anything else and the rest of it will come to you.